there, my beloved followers. Today, in Meet My Hot Peppers, it has come down to a very special plant of mine. I thought this would be a Madame Chanette. Orange or yellow. But it came up with another shape and color deep orange. So I contacted the grower and he said that it could have been cross pollinated with a red habanero. So let's go. There she is. My beloved ex prostitute from Suriname. The genes are from her. This is my Madame Havanet, an F2, growing very fine in its miniature Kratky bottle. Uh, lots of flowers as you can see and several pots too in there you have uh, quite a lot of pots as you see the biggest one is somewhere uh, I have to turn it around there I think that one will ripe first well, the story about this you heard a little. Um, when it didn't turn up as a Madame Janet, I knew that because I grew another one that became Madame Janet exactly at the same time as I grew this one. Uh, not this one, but the F1. And. Uh, I can say that the F1 just, wow, it overwhelmed me with fruits. First in here, in my pepper dungeon, then later, last summer, out in my greenhouse, I had over a hundred and fifty pods, both inside here and outside there. So. She is really a provider, the Madame Habanet. I came up with the name Habanet because it was an accidental cross between a red hab and Madame Janet. So it was pretty easy to name it. It became Madame Habanet. So I know that my friend. Uh, Matthias Dinos Chili Seeds has provided some Madame Habanet out in the world. So, um, if you see this video, can you please comment down below so I know where exactly this Madame Habanet is growing around the world? It would be pretty fun. Well, as you can see from above, she's pretty good looking. I've managed to keep her quite small and bushy. I have uh, topped and pruned this one twice and got this shape. And I'm pretty pleased. And I saw that she is providing me with new pods. And in there, the smaller pod has a real fun uh, form. So I know for a fact that these are um, isolated, so I can grow which seed I want from this plant. So there you have another new one coming. 
So, what do you think? Pretty nice looking. In heat, I trust. Yes, I do. Fool you. <laughs> now, I'm gonna talk about how um, hot this part is too, and uh, the taste. The taste is pretty fruity, um, citrusy, very, very tasteful. Uh, Heat-wise, it lays around a habane red habanero. Um, very kind heat, not aggressive or so. Um, Yeah, you will be surprised when you taste this one. It's uh, very good to make chili salt. Very good to have in food, especially on tacos. To bring on that extra spice. And a little heat. Uh, I've made salsa on it too. And it turned out very good. So you can do many things with this pepper. Now it's the end. In heat I trust. Be safe up there and take care. Good